What's going on everybody? It's your boy Lone Star checking in. Alright, I want to come and show you that you can mix. You can take the signal out of FL Studio, bring it to an analog mixer and do some EQing or compressing if you have such equipment. Um, this here is the Allen & Heath ZR16. It's an analog, digital, analog and digital mixer. Um, what I've got is some MIDI, some MIDI notes from the Motif. This is what that sounds like. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I've got it into my insert one in the FL Studio. It's coming from my ADAT, which is the um, Focusrite Sapphire Pro 40. I was using that as my primary interface before I got the mixer, and now it's my ADAT machine. So, I've got it coming in to Pro Tools on Insert 1. Now, what I'm going to do is go out of Pro Tools into Channel 1 in my mixer. And I'm also going to take it off of the master channel in FL Studio. So therefore it's only coming through my mixer. And you will be able to hear that once I hit these two buttons here, digital returns, pre-insert, which means it's going to be coming through the EQ of the mixer, in which there are some settings that I've already done in previous videos. So, I'm going to hit play, and you don't hear anything. Why? It's because it's coming through the mixer. There's a signal there, up the channel. Alright, so, signal is getting to the mixer, through the mixer, and into the channel, up the channel. So, all I got to do now is input some, in some EQ, in which, mind you, I've already said, I've already done it. There's some knobs turned, all funky like, so um, also this is what I'm going to do since FL Studio is all stereo, there's no mono channels in, in, in FL Studio, I'm going to put this on my left because I've only got two hands and I don't want to put the camera down, you won't be able to see nothing. So I'm just going to play with the EQ on the left channel, which is channel one. Play with some frequencies. Alright. Now if I want to bring that back into FL Studio, first what I want to do is go to channel 2 and have it bring in channels 1 and 2 from FL Studio. In this case, since I've panned it to the left, it's only going to bring in the left channel. It's got my record enabled and I got to go to the mixer and hit digital send. So it's going to send the signal back into FL Studio. So hit send and now it's sending back into FL Studio. All I got to do now is hit record, which for all you that know hotkeys, it is R in FL Studio you hit record and I was, should I should now be able to record that EQ'd analog signal from the mixer into FL Studio check it out Now let's see. Oh, you know what? My mistake. I did not put it in song mode. Make sure you put it in song mode or it won't go there. It won't go straight to your playlist. Let's try that again. Hit record.
All right, now, there you go. And there's my EQ signal. You can see the waveform going up and down because of the frequency that I was playing with. Now, let's hear it. Let's hear it back, what I did with no record. And that, my friends, that, my friends, is analog EQing, analog mixing, if you want to take it a little bit further, NFL Studio. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope you learned something.